How am I feeling? I'm feeling uh, a little tired, a little stressed, but um, everything everything's going well. There's always that, you know, a little bit of a stress level, I think, for all, you know, any grower. I think what changes mostly is attitude. The long hours and everybody's on the edge a little more. Just uh, push, push, push. All hands on deck. All things considered, we're, we're going really good. Perfect time, May the 10th. Okay. And we're in the prime time of cotton planting. Soil temperature is perfect. We have wonderful moisture. It's gonna really germinate quickly and come up fast. Everything's set up for a good start. Where you going? Um, Go to that. So over the winter, Taylor and Jared, they both had a big challenge. Basically, my brother and I had to go in on the computer and clean up six to eight years worth of just unorganized information. We would have to merge a bunch of fields together, and some of them would have AB lines, some of them wouldn't. It was just unorganized compared to what it could have been. So went in and added seed varieties that we were going to use this year through getting everything in line to be able to make this data management project possible. Just trying to make sure we got everything the way Dad wanted it to. It's much smoother, cleaner now, and much, much easier to operate. <laughs> it is a big task, you know, to take on and get everything where it needs to be. But now that they've got it, they can see what it can do. So they're, they're really gung-ho on it. Yeah, it, it pays to be organized. <laughs> I'm not going to say we've mastered it, but we're very much advanced to what we were a year ago. Seven to 10,000 less on his monitor than where he set. Right after lunch, Matt, who works with us very closely from John Deere, was looking at our mapping from that morning. I got on my operations app just to, I was wanting to see, you know, just kind of look. I'm always curious. So I got on there and I saw a couple potential issues. There was an incident that stood out that was very obvious from the color on the map that one planter was noticeably different in population. My tractor was showing a target rate fairly close to my target population. And when we looked on the My John Deere app, it was showing that two of our tractors were running basically the exact same, and my tractor wasn't putting out nearly as much seed. Did we change the plate number? We found out that the actual disc number was not entered, and that threw the rate off. It could have been a lot worse if we hadn't been able to catch it on the app. So that was something we might have caught it before the season was over, but we might not have either. It's scary, and you know, if we had been over a thousand acres and half my target population, you know, it was it just could have been bad. So it was it was pretty valuable. I feel like they were able to see what it can do, and see you know potential money saved at the end of the day, and it just takes that one time for a grower to be able to see okay, this really is, you know, the real deal. Yesterday was just a prime example of, you know, something that could, could save you money. That gives me confidence in, in what we're doing and how we can use it. It just takes one small fluke, you know, throughout the year that if it lasted the whole planting season, it's gonna show up in your yield. You wanna be able to catch that, fix it, and continue to go. I'm really excited about when we do go to harvest. I didn't know my phone was that smart. <laughs> I think that's when it'll hit us that we're on the right track. 